Allow me to invite now to invite now to the floor Her Excellency Chomara Maduro, Minister of Finance and Culture of Aruba. Thank you. President of the General Conference, Chairman of the Executive Board, Director General, respected colleagues, distinguished delegates and partners, ladies and gentlemen. Madam President, on behalf of the government of Aruba, I congratulate you on being chosen to preside over the 42nd session of the General Conference of UNESCO. It is an honor to be here today as a representative of Aruba, as part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. We uphold a common framework where in Aruba, as well, human rights are safeguarded and academic principles and freedoms are respected. We are a unique island. You can see us as a small island developing state, sits, or as a large ocean state. We have our own regional challenges and priorities, but I believe that our shared dedication to UNESCO's ideals allow us to share our ambitions, knowledge, and craft solutions that benefit our communities. Madam President, with satisfaction, I can say that we have four schools that became members of the UNESCO Associated School Network since UNESCO's last general conference. Our local ASP network received an extra boost from successfully implementing a project financed by the UNESCO Participation Project. The government of Aruba reaffirms its commitment to SDG 4. Also, our mother tongue, Papiamento, is an essential part of the so-called mother tongue-based multilingual education. When it comes to understanding the ocean and its related process in the greater Caribbean region, Aruba, as it sits with a substantial economic exclusive zone, has a unique perspective. We see firsthand the vital importance of comprehending the complexities of our seas. We are actively engaged in EO Caribe's work and we are proud to chair the board of EO Caribe. Aruba also works with the Netherlands to institute a Kingdom National Ocean Decade Commission. EO Caribe's programs and initiatives are making a significant impact in our region, aiding us in addressing the challenges that SITS face. Support for EO Caribe is essential for the sustainable management of our oceans. Madam President, Aruba tourism industry has recovered quickly since the pandemic. Thanks to the hard work of many stakeholders, including the government, the private sector, NGOs, and the civil society at large. However, this recovery also poses risk to the sustainability of our cultural and natural heritage. It is important to mitigate these risks to protect our heritage with particular focus on cultural education. Within the Kingdom of the Netherlands, we have a close cooperation in the field of culture based mainly on the UNESCO's cultural program and agreements made at Mondia Cold 2022. Aruba understands the power of artificial intelligence to modernize and preserve our rich documentary heritage. This makes our heritage accessible to everyone to enjoy, learn from, and study. Aruba is actively involved in the Memory of the World program and is proud to have an Aruban expert as the chair of the program's Latin America and Caribbean Committee. We are also working to shape UNESCO's communication and information objectives into our local context with special regards for proper ethics in this matter. We are grateful for the participation program and are trying to align our local priorities with this program. Finally, a significant aspect of our engagement lies in meaningful youth participation. 
by actively participating at the ministerial level and with a youth representative in this year's youth forum, we hope to be able to listen firsthand to the challenges and solutions presented by the youth, both from our region and globally. To conclude, I would like to express my gratitude in the most spoken languages on the island of Aruba. Masha Danki. Thank you well. Muchas gracias. Thank you. And merci beaucoup.